the receptor potential the receptor potential is a non propagated transmembrane potential difference that develops when a receptor is stimulated the receptor potential is also called as the generator potential and the receptor potential is short lived and hence it is called as the transient receptor potential the receptor potential is not an action potential it is a graded potential and it is similar to the excitatory postsynaptic potential in a synapse and it is also similar to the end plate potential in a neuromuscular junction and the electronic potential in the nerve fiber coming to the properties of the receptor potential the receptor potential has two important properties the first one is non propagated that means the receptor potential is non propagated and it is confined within the receptor itself and the second property is it does not obey all or none law let's talk about the significance of the receptor potential when the receptor potential is sufficiently strong it causes the development of the action potential in the sensory nerve fiber so it so the significance is it causes the development of the action potential in the sensory nerve that is when the receptor potential is sufficiently strong that means when the magnitude is about 10 millivolts now let's learn about the mechanism of the development of the receptor potential to study about the receptor potential the pacinian corpuscles are generally used because of its large size and the anatomical configuration so this is the diagram of the pacinian corpuscle and the pacinian corpuscles are the mechanoreceptors that give response to the pressure and the vibration to know about the receptor potential we should know about the structure of the pacinian corpuscle the pacinian corpuscles are situated in the deeper layers of the skin and some corpuscles are also situated in tissues those surrounding the joints such as the fascia over the muscle the tendons and the joint capsule and the pacinian corpuscles situated in these tissues are responsible for the determining of the position of the joints so these pacinian corpuscles are the small onion shaped structures as you can see it here and each corpuscle is approximately oval cylindrical in shape and it measures about 1 mm in length it is covered by a capsule which is formed by 20 to 60 concentric lamellae of the connective tissue and the lamellae is a thin flat layer with the epithelial cells and the lamellae also contain the modified schwann cell in the deeper part in the center of the corpuscle a single unmyelinated efferent nerve fiber is present that means it is the sensory component of the nerve fiber so you can see it is the unmyelinated efferent nerve fiber that is present within the center of the pacinian corpuscle this unmyelinated nerve tip extends through the corpuscle as the center core fiber so this is the center core fiber and the concentric layer of the corpuscle surround the core fiber of the nerve and this pacinian corpuscle give response to pressure stimulus as we said it is the mechanoreceptors that gives a sensation of the pressure and the vibration when the pressure stimulation is applied the pacinian corpuscle gets compressed and this compression causes the elongation or the change in the shape of this corpuscle the change in the shape of the corpuscle leads to the deformation of the central core fiber and this result in the opening of the mechanical gated sodium channels so that the positively charged sodium ions enter the interior of the core fiber and this produces a mild depolarization that is the receptor potential 
So this diagram indicates the before stimulation of this receptor and this diagram is the after stimulation. So this is the nerve fiber and suppose the stimulus is applied it results to change in the shape of the corpuscule and leads to the deformation of the central core fiber and then it results in the opening of the mechanically gated sodium channels. So the positively charged sodium ions enter the interior of the core and this produces a mild depolarization and that is called as the receptor potential. So this is the positively charged nerve ending and due to the receptor potential the charge get inside and the outside become negative due to the entrance of the sodium ions. So this is the receptor potential. So let's draw a flow chart of the receptor potential. When the pressure stimulus is applied, it leads to the compression of the Pacinian corpuscule and it leads to the elongation or the change in shape of the Pacinian corpuscule and then this elongation or the change leads to the deformation of the core fiber that leads to the opening of the mechanically gated sodium channels and it leads to the entrance of the sodium ions into the core fiber and it causes the development of the receptor potential. Now after the development of the receptor potential the action potential will be developed that is the receptor potential causes the development of a local circuit of the current flow which spreads along the unmyelinated part of the nerve fiber that is within the corpuscule so this is the local circuit current and when this local circuit of the current reaches the first node of the Ranvier within the corpuscule it causes the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels and it leads to the entrance of the sodium ions into the nerve fiber and this leads to the development of the action potential in the nerve fiber so this is the local circuit of the current flow and it leads to the development of the action potential so this is the action potential that is caused when the local circuit of the current reaches the first node of the Ranvier within the corpuscule and it causes the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels and it leads to the entrance of the sodium ions into the nerve fiber and this further leads to the development of the action potential so the continuation of this flow chart after the development of the receptor action potential there is a development of the local circuit of the current flow then it leads to the spread of the local circuit of the current flow to the first node of Ranvier in the corpuscule and now this leads to the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels in the first node of the Ranvier and then this leads to the entrance of the sodium ions and thus it leads the generation of the action potential into the nerve fiber so let's revise the flow chart or the mechanism of the development of the receptor potential and the action potential when the pressure stimulus is applied onto the Pacinian corpuscule it leads to the compression of the Pacinian corpuscule and the compression of this corpuscule leads in the elongation or the change in shape of the Pacinian corpuscule and due to the elongation it leads into the deformation of the central core fiber in the corpuscule and then it leads to the opening of the mechanically gated sodium channels that leads to the entrance of the sodium ions into the central core fiber and it leads to the development of the receptor potential so the receptor potential is developed and after the development of the receptor potential the development of the local circuit of the current flow occurs and it leads to the spread of the local circuit of the current flow to the first node of the Ranvier that is present in the corpuscule and it leads to the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels in the first node of the Ranvier and then the entrance of the sodium ions occur and it leads to the generation in the action potential of the nerve fiber 
So guys, this is all about the Recepta potential. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.